Okay, so this is 6-3, evaluate log expressions. Um, evaluate and simplify. So log base 2 of, of if I want to just evaluate what is log base 2 of 32, um, you can make it, this will, it'll look familiar to you if you just say equals x, and we're trying to solve for x. So as you know, just to make sure it's in your notes, you would rewrite this in exponential form. So the base here, this is the base, this is the, this is the exponent, exponent, and this is the answer. So you would just go 2 raised to the x power equals 32. And um, that's nice and easy to solve because x is 5. You could, you could rewrite 32 as 2 to the fifth power, and then you would see that x is 5. But you don't, you don't have to take that step. Um, so let's see here. Now let's do one that's a little less obvious, log base 27 of um, 3. So we're saying, let's just go straight to exponential form. We're saying 27 raised to the what power equals 3. So that's a, that's a little trickier. Um, so, but you can do this. If you just rewrite 27 as, if you recognize it's base 3, 27 is 3 to the third power. Mm -hmm. So you can just rewrite it as 3 to the 3x equals 3. And because these two bases are the same, you know there's an invisible 1 right here. So you can just set the exponents equal to each other. 3x is equal to 1, or x is equal to 1 third. And then if we go back to the original problem, you know that 1 third power is, is base. What root is that? Raising something to the 1 third power is the same as taking the... The, the cube root, yeah, yeah, the third root, the cube root. So, of course, the cube root of 27 is 3. So this, this answer should make sense. You could, you could have seen it in the very beginning, actually. 27 to the 1 third is 3. So now let's talk about this log of 1,000. Um, if you don't see any notation here, the default for um, the base is going to be 10. So... The, the default base is 10, and that's called common log. So really what you mean is log base 10 of 1,000 when you just say log 1,000. There's an invisible 10 always, and that's called, <clears throat> that's called the common log, the name for that. It means log base 10, common log. So what's the answer? Well, whatever you have to raise 10 to to get 1,000 is the answer. And what is that? How many, how many zeros after the 1? There's three zeros, so you have to raise it to the third power. So 3 is the answer. If you, and, and there's actually a button on your calculator for this if it's just a regular log. And, it's, and it says this. If you look on your calculator, it says log. And it's no accident that 10 raised to the x power is right above it on your calculator because those operations are called in inverse, inverse operations. 10 to a power and log base 10 are doing opposites. And that's why on your calculator, they're right above each other. Kind of like um, probably, probably if you have an x squared button, what do you think's above it? Yeah, square root of x is probably above it. Okay, so now, so so that's how you do three. Number four, ln. This is new notation, ln, but don't let it fool you. Ln stands for um, natural log. And it's, it's used in a lot of, um, it's used for interest compounding continuously and other science applications. And all it means... It, if you have to rewrite it this way, it's okay. It means log base E. So really what I'm saying is find log base E of 24. So what the heck is E? E is an irrational number just like pi. Um, e is like 2.17 something. 
And this is, there's no way we can do this precisely on our calculator because we're saying e to the what power is 24, but there is a button that you can press, natural log button. And, and if you take it of 24, it'll give you the answer. And, but, and it looks like this, there's a button called LN and it's no mistake that e raised to the x power is right above it. And e is just a constant. So I, I, you would have to do that on your calculator to find natural log of 24. Did, did anyone find that button? Can you tell me what it is? E raised to the what power gives you 24. So x is? Yeah, three point, about 3.18. Yeah. And so that makes sense. So you, some of these, um, when you do the book problems, if you can do it without your calculator, you should always do that. But if you can't, then you should use your calculator. So let's talk about, let me make this a little bit bigger. Let's talk about simplifying these expressions. This is actually quite simple, even though it looks, looks tricky at first. So I want to simplify eight raised to the log base eight of X. What should happen if you take log base eight of any number and then you go eight raised to that power, wh what should happen? Those operations are inverses of each other, right? That's what we've been talking about, inverse eight raised to a power and log base eight, they undo each other. So these just cancel out and you're left with x. You would get the original answer back if you, if you did that for any number on your calculator. These are inverse operations. So what should this answer be? Log base 7 of 7 raised to a power is just negative 3x. That's all that would be left. Here I did it in the opposite order. I did log base 7 first and then I did seven raised to a power. So those are so the undo. Now this one, if this were a two, okay, easy. The answer would be X, but it's, we have to do one little step in between. So how can we rewrite 64? 64 is the same as 2 raised to the 6 power. Awesome. So when we rewrite this expression like this, now it should be obvious the answer is 6x, right? So you wouldn't be, you, this number would have to be something you can write with base 2. Otherwise, I wouldn't give it to you. So let's, let's try this. This is like saying e raised, number natural log is just log base e of 20. So what does that give you? Yeah, 